In our last episode, we talked about using our imagination when we're inviting the elements of air, fire, water, and earth into our circle or sacred space. Today we'll talk about using our imaginations in when we're, when we're meditating. As you may have guessed, people do meditation for different reasons. Sometimes to help them be still, sometimes for healing, sometimes to fill themselves with energy, sometimes to feel more connected with the universe, and lots of other reasons. Most of the time, people do meditation in two ways. Either they're trying to think of nothing at all, to clear their minds of everything at all, or they're trying to see something using their imagination, fill their minds with, either empty it or fill it. Today, you and I will talk about the second kind, the kind where we're using our imagination to fill our minds with pictures so we feel things. All of us fill our minds with all kinds of pictures, whether we're trying to do it or not. If I say the words, strawberry shortcake, your mind automatically sees a picture of that dessert. You may have other reactions to it too. If you really like it, you might make a face like this. Ooh. <laughs> and you might actually taste it in your mouth. Or if you don't like it, you might make a different face altogether. Ugh. Okay. So how about if I say, ooh, cinnamon rolls. Now you're probably thinking of how good those smell and taste, right? Mmm, maybe it's time for lunch, <laughs> or dessert anyway. Now, how about banana? Now, I don't personally like bananas, and I really don't like the way they smell, no, but I see a bunch of them together in my mind, okay? They're hanging from a white plastic banana hanger in my kitchen, in my mind. I automatically see those. Now, if I say ice cream, okay? Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream, <laughs> okay? Most of you will probably think of different flavors, no matter if you like that flavor or not. And that is very often what happens when, one, when more than one person tries to meditate. Okay, we all see things differently, so meditating together is sometimes a difficult thing to do, unless someone leads you in what's called a guided meditation. If I tell you to imagine yourself as a tree, then some of you, some of you will see yourselves as a big, tall oak tree. Some will see themselves as a willow tree, and maybe one, so maybe someone will see themselves as a very small tree in a very large forest. Okay. How you see yourself is very important, because as you know, thoughts and feelings have energy. And the better you think of yourself, the better the thoughts and energies you will have, and the better the things are you are likely to have in your life. When we did our first meditation together, I asked you to imagine yourself as a bee. Do you remember that? <laughs> in our second meditation together, I ask you to imagine the elements of air, fire, water, and earth, and some of their different sounds. Ooh, oh, lots of different things, right? Today, I want you to, to think about using your imagination to see yourself being the best you that you can be. Use your imagination to see things the way you want them to be. That often helps the universe to understand better what you want. When you think about things over and over again, you're asking the universe to bring those things to you. But one way that so many people use their imaginations is to worry. That's right. When you worry, you're using your imagination to see things you don't want to see, to create things you don't want to create, to draw attention and focus your imagination on things you don't want. So there's a small problem with that. Our wonderful universe wants you to be happy. Did you know that? Well, it's true. But it doesn't understand when you say you don't want something. All it knows is that you are thinking about something. So it works to bring you whatever you're thinking about, even if it's a bad thing, especially if you feel this very strongly. If you're worried that you won't do good on a test, and the then all the universe hears is that you do not want to do good on the test. If you're always worried that you aren't cute enough, or that you aren't smart enough, or that you aren't good enough, then the universe will, will, give, will work to give you more reasons to keep thinking that very same thing. If you keep saying, I'm stupid, or I'm sad, or I'm always last, or I'll never get that, then the universe will work hard to give you more reasons to think that you're stupid or sad 
or always last or that you'll never get what you think you'll never have. So what's really, really important is that you think good thoughts, that the things you say and feel and think are things you do want. I'm cute. Oh, yay me. <laughs> okay. I'm happy. I like myself. Those kinds of things. I can understand this. I can get this. I can do this. One, one really good example of this kind of thinking is when people say something like, don't forget to brush your teeth, okay? or don't forget your keys. What you want to say instead is, remember to brush your teeth, or remember your keys. You want to put things in a good way, not a bad way. Don't forget is not the same as remember. So remember that. Okay? You have the power to make a difference in your own life by thinking good things about yourself. So let's take a deep breath in together. Imagine you're pulling good energy from the living earth into your body and when you do, in your nose, into your nose and your lungs and all the way to the top of your head. Blow out. Let that energy fill the rest of your body. Down, down, down to your knees and your toes. Now wiggle your toes a bit just to make sure you got the energy all the way down. Okay, again, all the way in and up. Okay, up, 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 energy in, in, in. Now, all the way down to your toes. And wiggle your toes. Okay, one more time. Up and up and up. Now down. Make the energy go down, down, down and feel good. Now use your imagination to see yourself when I say these words and repeat after me. I am good. I am smart. I am happy. I am at peace. I am enough. Doesn't that feel good? You have the power to make a difference in your own life and everywhere you go. No matter if you're happy, sad, or mad, you can do this anytime, anywhere, out loud or silently to help yourself to remember that you matter. You make a difference.